Now, getting a copy of this film was like barking at a knot. Uh, attempts to rip the DVD, which I legally own, did not work. A working copy of the film can be found here. Unfortunately, it's a colourised version and therefore pure evil. With a little bit of editing magic, I can return it to its glory, though the quality isn't as good as it could be. Bear with me. Way Out West, released in 1937, finds Stan and Ollie en route to the frontier town of Brushwood Gulch. They are delivering a deed to a gold mine to one Mary Roberts, whose father was a prospector. Mary is living a rather sad life as a servant to a couple of mean-spirited innkeepers, Mickey Finn and his wife Lola Marcel. When Stan foolishly blurts out that they are delivering a deed to Mary, Mickey plots to have his wife impersonate her so they can claim it back. Stan and Ollie turn the deed over, but after meeting the real Mary, they work to get the deed back. See? Mary Roberts. If you aren't familiar with their films, Laurel and Hardy came from the silent period of filmmaking, so a lot of their humour remains highly visual. A lot of their routines and long drawn out slapstick sequences can still be seen in films today. Put that shoe on properly. The basic story designed around the gags is pretty simple. A lot of the humour comes from us as an audience doing some of the work. Take the famous bit at the beginning of the film where Stan and Ollie make their way through a knee-deep river. In a moment that borders on the surreal, Ollie continues to walk on only to fall through while Stan continues on unaware. This gag is repeated halfway through. And then, at the end, when they leave town through the same river, wait for it, there. Another example of surreal humour which Laurel referred to as white magic is a running joke in the film with Stan's pipe. To light it, he flicks his thumb upwards as if working a lighter. His thumb ignites and he matter-of-factly lights his pipe. The amazed Hardy seeing this would unsuccessfully attempt to duplicate it throughout the film. Much later, Hardy finally succeeds, only to be terrified when his thumb catches fire. Other examples are both funny and disturbing. Another memorable moment comes when Stan and Ollie are in the saloon and the house band, I guess you could call them that. On a mountain in Virginia, starts playing Trail of the Lonesome Pine. Getting caught up in it, Stan and Ollie are at the bar and join in. It's an example of the time, a song and dance routine. The genius comes in the opportunity to get some humour from it. One of the oldest movie foundations, if not the first, is The Chase. Certainly, it plays into both the western genre and the comedy of the time. Way Out West is no exception. A lot of the humour comes from the farcical chase and misdirection. Take this sequence at the end of the film. Stan and Ollie have to break into the saloon to get the deed back for the rightful owner. What could normally happen off screen or last a few minutes becomes an entire series of gags. It's the slow burn and exponential absurdity that works so well. Oh! 
I wouldn't go as far to place Way Out West as a staple of the genre. And if my area of interest is the Wild West, it doesn't really work. Honestly, it is at best a great Laurel and Hardy film, and a series of memorable gags and great songs. You don't need to be a huge western buff to enjoy it, and you should be able to see just how far the comedic duo's influence stretched in the many decades since. I've been the fan, the fan with no name. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this quick draw review. If you could leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think, I'd be much obliged. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Every day at 6 o'clock, you can catch a new Wild West themed video here on this channel. So then, dear viewer, dear listeners, dear buckaroos, I will bid you, as I always do, until next time, Happy Trails!